Hello everyone and welcome to another at Maths tutorial video. Now I'll be discussing SPM 2017 paper 1 question number 17 from form 5 chapter 3 integration short question. Okay before that please like this video to show your support and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming mathematics tutorial videos in the future. Okay let me read the question now. It is given that integral 5 over 2x plus 3 to the power of n. So, if you can't see the image clearly, this is the letter n, guys. Okay, with respect to dx is equals to p over 2x plus 3 to the power of 5 plus with c, where c, n, and p are constants. Find the value of n and of p. So, this is the overall question. So, I hope that you will attempt this question in the future. If you could manage to solve this question, a big thumbs up to you guys. If you can't solve this question, no worries. I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step working and the solutions. Okay, guys, before I forgot, for this question, I'm going to use two methods to solve the question. Okay, so without further delay, let us start to solve the question by using the method 1 now. For the method 1, what we're going to do is, we're going to integrate this 5 over 2x plus 3 to the power of n. And then later on, that answer we're going to compare with this given equation where p over 2x plus 3 to the power of 5 plus with c. So through the comparison, you should able to get the answer of and and p. Okay, so that is the overall idea on method 1. So let us perform the integration for this. Okay, but before that, okay, this 2x plus 3 to the power of n. So we will move it to the top. So from here, 5 in a bracket. 2x plus 3 to the power of negative n respect to dx okay so from here the next step is we can able to perform the integration so okay you integrate this okay, you'll get 5 in the bracket 2x plus 3 okay the power you plus with 1 so from here you get negative n plus with 1 okay and then you divide with negative n plus with 1 and then the bracket inside you differentiate okay you should get 2 okay you times it over here and then you plus with c okay let me uh, underline the fraction over here okay so from here you should get 5 in a bracket 2x plus 3 okay to the power of negative n plus 1 and then divide with 2 minus with 2n okay and then you plus with c okay let me underline the fraction over here so up until now i hope you understand the working okay for the next step what i'm going to do is this 2x plus 3 to the power of negative n plus 1 okay i'm going to uh, separate with this original fraction okay how i'm going to do that allow me to show you the working now so from here 5 over 2 minus 2 n okay and then you times with 2 x plus 3 okay the power you factor out the negative so you only left with n minus 1 okay close bracket and then you plus with c okay so let me draw the fraction uh, underline the fraction here and then make a square bracket okay so for the next step what we're going to do is this 2x plus 3 to the power of negative uh, n minus 1 in a bracket so we're going to uh, change it into a, a standard fr fraction form where it will be 1 over 2x plus 3 to the power of n minus 1. Okay, so from here, so it will become 5 over 2 minus 2n. Okay, and then you times with 1 over 2x plus 3 to the power of n minus 1. Okay, and then you plus with c okay let me underline the fraction over here so 
and I draw a square bracket over here. For the next step, what you're going to do is we're going to combine these two fraction. Okay, from here you should get five over two minus two n. Okay, in a bracket two x plus three to the power of n minus one, and then you plus with c. Okay. So once you've done this, the next step what you can do is you can now do the comparison. Okay, so you can start with the comparison of n minus one with five over here. Okay, from here, n minus one is equals to five. So from here you should get your n is equals to six. Okay, that is your first answer. Okay, let me underline it. Okay, once you get your n equal to 6, so what you can do is you can use this 6 and substitute over this expression here and then you can compare with the variable p, okay, since your variable p is a, a constant, okay, so from here, when n is equal to 6, 5, you divide with 2 minus 2, and then you times with 6 is equals to p okay so you calculate this you should get negative 5 over 10 is equals to p okay you simplify this you get 1 you simplify this you get 2 so therefore you should get your p is equals to negative 1 over 2 so this is your final answer okay let me underline the solution now okay so that is all for the method one okay for the students i don't really recommend the method one because as you can see here the steps are pretty complex where you will tend to make uh, mistakes if you are not uh, careful on what you're doing still can't understand okay don't worry i'm going to show you the method two now unlike the method one method two is far easier so what you're going to do is instead of integrating this we are going to differentiate p over 2x plus 3 to the power of 5 plus with c and then we're going to compare with this expression over here inside this integral okay so from here let us write this down okay where your y is equals to p over 2x plus 3 to the power of 5 plus with c okay let me underline this fraction over here Okay, this fraction, so we're going to bring it to the top. So it will become y is equals to p in a bracket 2x plus 3 to the power of negative 5 plus with c. Okay, so we're going to differentiate this with respect to x. So your dy dx will be equals to, okay. So this negative 5, you times with p, so you get negative 5p. Okay, in a bracket, 2x plus 3. Okay, the power you minus with 1. So, from here you get minus 6. Okay, and then you have to differentiate the inside bracket. Okay, so from here you get 2. So, you won't have the constant because when you differentiate the constant, you get 0. Okay. So, from here, let us continue our working. So, negative 5p you times with 2. So, from here you get your dy dx is equals to negative 10p in a bracket 2x plus 3 oops, to the power of negative 6. So, you rearrange this. From here you should get negative 10p. You divide with 2x plus 3 to the power of 6. Okay, let me underline the fraction. Okay. So, once you've done this, you can just straight away compare 
this variable with the inside integral over here okay in this method we are going in a reverse direction instead of integrating this we are actually differentiating this okay so i hope you understand the concept behind this so we're going to compare inside bracket here so your n you can compare with 6 so through comparison so from here you get your n is equal to 6 okay and the negative 10 p you can compare with 5 over here so from here negative 10 p is equals to 5 from here you get your p is equals to negative 5 over 10 okay you simplify this you get 1 you simplify this you get 2 so from here you get your p is equals to negative 1 over 2 you see guys you still end up by getting the same answer okay so let me underline the solution for two answers okay so that is all for the step-by-step -step working and solution for this question i hope you understand the full working that i've shown to you if you like this video please give your thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more upcoming mathematics tutorial videos in the future and not to forget to share this video Thank you everyone for your support and I'll see you in the next video.